Hi guys, Amanda from Whitewood Acres and Louise. Thanks for joining me today. This is how I process my gourds into all natural, multi-use, fully compostable sponges and a few mistakes I made along the way. Come on, chickens. <laughs> Louise is gonna sit with me while we talk about loofah sponges. So as a new homesteader, I was really excited to add loofahs to the garden this year. I thought I'd share my process of turning the gourds into an actual sponge and uh, share a few mistakes that I made along the way as well. So perhaps my first newbie mistake with loofahs was that I harvested them while they were green. I decided to take them off the vine while they were green because I was terrified of the frost that was coming and I was afraid it might ruin the gourds. So I think typically they dry out and turn brown on the vine but I took mine off green and I decided to bring them here into the garage and lay them on newspapers kind of off to the side by the fire and let them dry out that way. And after a couple weeks, I started to notice black spots and they were actually starting to rot. So I kind of jumped into action that day and I ended up turning it all around and I did have a few losses, but I got lots of really great sponges. Let me just show you. Here's one that's completely dried out and ready to cut into smaller, more manageable sponges. So as soon as I started to notice the black spots, the first thing I decided to do was try and husk them. They were really tough, so I crunched them up with my foot. I crunched them up with a mallet. Then they took off all of the outer skin. So once I had all of the loofahs husked, I put all of them into a big bin together and filled it with water. And then I just kind of like massaged and squeezed until all of the goo had come out and you just had to like wring it out. And once all the goo came out, I rinsed them again, filled the bin with water, went through the exact same process, got all of the seeds out. And then I brought them back in and I put them beside the wood stove to dry. And that actually worked out. And now I have all these great little sponges. Finding ways to be more self-sufficient and leave less of a footprint it has become really important to us. And as homesteaders, it's really cool when you can find another way to self-sustain. I just find it to be an absolute thrill when I can remove another item from my grocery list and I've produced something on my own that I will be using on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.